Hey lovelies and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. My name is Onyaka and if you are returning, thank you for coming back. And as you can see from the title, this is The Big Move Part 1 and 2. So part 1 is showing you guys the journey from the UK to the US. You know my little coming to America. And then my part two is the video, my full vlog from Michigan down here to Houston, Texas. So if you haven't watched my previous video, please make sure you do. It is my welcome get to know me video. And in that I do explain a little bit about this video because I did explain that I didn't know I was starting this channel. So my part one from the UK to the US is just snaps that I took and videos. Um, which I did make into a little movie for you guys and then my part two is a full vlog from Michigan down here in Texas so I do hope you guys enjoy this travel vlog it would definitely show you guys the journey that we have been on just to get down here in Texas and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys you know in the next one all right, testing one, two, three. Let's get into this voiceover. So this was packing day. So we had packed up all our boxes, wrapped it up for safety and ready to go. 19. Only 19. It was officially the big day. We got to Heathrow Airport. I have a Nigerian mom, so you know it was three hours before the flight. We checked in, said our goodbyes. I always make sure we take a video, you know, girls trip so for this flight we actually got premium economy which gave us two bags because in june 2020 we booked a lot of flights with the airlines we had a bit of credit so we were able to get that premium economy i also made sure i took that video you know outfit check and this was us landing in newark new jersey and i haven't actually been to new york in i think it was about six years um but yeah we landed it was absolutely cold like it was snowing but we went to new york um we stayed in manhattan like guys look at the snow it was actually crazy and so so cold but this was us you know checking in at manhattan we stayed at fair field um so yeah just adobe checking in and me just you know taking the snaps once we checked in we then went up to our room just a little room tour nothing too grand but the bed was actually big and very comfortable which was actually pretty great and then i had to do my you know in new york um video of everything and it was it was cute hello and welcome to the big move featuring hello so if you're in this private story, so you know that Ruby and I decided to move to the US. We are currently in Manhattan. NYC, baby. Anyways, but um, it's currently 11.55. So you guys should be sleeping. But um, yeah, so we're here for a few days. Then, well, a couple days. Then we'll go to, um, back to Jersey um back to new jersey well yeah don't really have much to tell you but let's see how it goes so the plan is to get a job see how it goes and yeah we'll know if we 100 percent want to stay if we'll go back home but the plan is to stay But yeah i did make a private story for people that i speak to every day or i see so often or like my girls from secondary school who have known for the longest that i've always wanted to move to america like there was no way i could have kept that a secret from them or not have told them at all so yeah and then we got some food that evening we weren't sure which liquid goes in the noodles we figured that out at the end um but that was actually sweet potato and i think chicken it wasn't that bad but yeah we just called it a night the next morning we went downstairs and um, we did get breakfast in our package so we got one of each you know because why not then we got ready and headed out i had to wear my hat because you know what we're in new york we took the subway and we went to grand central terminal first order of business was to get 
new Macs. And then as well, we went to another Apple store to get new phones because we wanted to get a US SIM. So we can put one phone um, with a UK SIM and then one with the US. Then we went to Applebee's in Times Square and we got some food. We also got some slushies. When I told you we are obsessed with this, it's actually crazy. So yeah, we uh, set up our equipment and we called it a night just because the next day we had to pack up and move to our next location. So we went down to New Jersey, which um, is where we were staying. The people we were meant to be staying with, they lived there. And then it was about a 45 minutes journey or about 50. They lived in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Um yeah like i said it wasn't that long to get there but the thing is when we got there no one was home and this is my sister just playing in the snow because we were really out there for a long time waiting knocking and you know what it was a bit sunny so it wasn't as cold so guys after we've been here since four since 11 30 so 11 to four hours we've been sitting outside someone's house for four hours Turns out people sleep. I knew you were sleeping. I said it. I said you were sleeping. What kind of sleep? <laughs> <sighs> but yeah guys it turns out someone was actually home but they were asleep you know that sound funny yes but not funny haha ha. that's literally what's in my mind but anyways i will let you guys know in a six month update the full story about all of that so yeah we hired out a car and guys skin glow like no filter i wish my face looked like that now but anyways we hired out our car because we were going to do a little road trip there's a family that lives in new jersey that we usually stay with when we come to america so we planned a little link up and yeah road trip it was about an hour drive they live closer to philadelphia but it wasn't too long to get to went to their house saw everyone and then we decided let's go bowling it was nice you know a little night out and yeah i won both games of course i did i'm great at bowling even though i don't really try but yeah was that a strike So yeah, some shayo in the system while we bowled and then it was moving day. Guys, the skin again, the glow, the sun. Oh, but anyways, yeah, we did a little road trip and headed off because we had to leave the family we were with and we had to move up north to Michigan to my aunties. So yeah, it was about a 10 hour drive. We didn't do all of it in one day we split it so we left on friday around i think it was nine ish i think but yeah we headed off and then we split it so this was just a little tour and you know of course i had to do the snapping and the videoing so that's us in pennsylvania and then we did a little stop you know obviously to get some food bathroom break just to rest so we were actually going to go to popeyes then we changed our minds and went burger king listen i didn't buy two burgers i was just helping adobe finish off hers because she didn't like something that was in the burgers then we got to our hotel in pittsburgh this is us just going to check in and a little room tour and it was nice to have two beds and they were actually good sizes and then they also gave you a little desk area you know to write your letters to your loved ones yeah but a view not too great but hey it was snowing and then we got some food from panda express and when you walk in they all shout hey which is cute i guess the next morning we packed up and it was time to finish off the rest of the journey pittsburgh to detroit we actually stayed in a place called westland but i said detroit for people that may not know where westland is we got to ohio so we knew we were getting closer and closer which was great got to toledo toledo is also in ohio but very close to michigan and then finally we got to michigan my auntie lived about 30 minutes from here but yeah finally we had made it up north to michigan i would definitely in my six month update let you guys know the reason we had to leave new jersey to head up to michigan but yeah see you guys in part two Hello. hey guys 
guys welcome back so as you can see from the title it is moving day and um, it's Tuesday the 26th and I don't know what time it is but yeah <laughs> I know what day it is but yeah um, I currently just went to the Beauty Spice store so I'm literally rushing back because I really left on my break to go get a couple more things I need to do my hair um, and then we're gonna leave after I finish work so that's at 3 30 so the plan for today is to drive to indiana it's five hours and then from indiana tomorrow i have a flight at 7 a.m to houston um i don't know if i'm excited yeah i don't know because i've been here for like a few a few months um but i guess it'll be nice to have my own place and start that journey as well so yeah, guys, stay tuned and see you later. Hey guys, so we are officially on the way. So you can see the U-Haul on the back attached to your car. So it is 5.03 and we were supposed to leave at 3.30. But one, I was doing my hair and two, um, I think the main thing was because obviously I was working till 3.30 I couldn't do as much and I was really busy at work as well so I couldn't do as much um, while I was working but we were fishing on the way it's going to take us it says 4 hours and 37 minutes um, this is my sister guys her name's Adobe I'm going to force her to say hi say hi Anyways, yeah, sorry, she's a bit angry because um, we didn't leave the house the time she wanted to An hour and a half late. Now she wants to talk. But yeah, um, it's not all my fault. Misses. Anyways, we're on the way. <laughs> the sun's really shining. But yeah, let's get it. So we got um, 12 wings. So basically they're doing buy one, get one half price. So we got wings. My friend, where your seatbelt? What is your problem? <laughs> where your seatbelt? Where yeah. you finish? And then we got beers, chicken, and then we got some regular fries as well. Very good. Where your seatbelt? Hey guys, so we are finally here. Um, it's currently 11.33. <laughs> Jesus God. What? No. Anyways, yeah, so we're here. Um, so we're gonna go Some of us and... Some up from Anna. Yeah. Okay guys, she will let go of the fact that I took a nap. And then I you're slept... gonna record now and everyone's gonna think that you were... Uh... That's... I never... I was never gonna say anything about the sleeping part, but... Okay, I closed my eyes for about... Five ten minutes, and so I don't know why she's making it such a big deal, but anyways, yeah. So we're here. So we're finally here in Indiana. Um, so we're gonna go get something to eat, and then um, checking at the hotel. We're not really sure if this place is open. It's called. Let me see. Hi, welcome it's called Steak and, and Shake. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. No, but guys, the size of this. Yeah. 
Hey guys. <laughs> Open it then. This is mad disrespectful. How long y'all been in America? Um, six months on doing? Saturday. Of course. Yeah, I want to. We've always been. Yeah. Why? 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 It is. I've always wanted to come and stay here. Yeah, I'm never going back to London. Never say never. Okay, guys, this is Ashley. Hi, you guys. We met at uni. <laughs> at uh, Essex. Essex University. But she lives here in I'm Indiana. In Indianapolis. I'm about to move, though. I don't know. Now she's moving. Hey, guys. So we are finally here um, in Indiana. So. Um, we just checked in into our hotel and then we got them we got some food as well um, on our way and then basically um, Ashley's here Ashley's a friend I met at uni she came there to play basketball she lives here so she's here we we're meant to go out I don't know if we're still going to because it's really it's hot and obviously my flight's in the morning but um I don't know what we're gonna do. Might just chill and then call it a night. But um, tomorrow's obviously the big day because obviously I'm flying to Houston and then I do wish driving. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah. Every two minutes, someone two minutes have we stopped. That Uber is the way forward. Yeah. And, and I hope so it was fun because once you got there, you got back in. <laughs> I was about it. That was nice. It was nice. hot. But you would have experienced it if you just listened and you didn't miss your flight. I'm going to go sometime in my lifetime, so it's all good. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. We would have been a girl strip, it's not the same. It was a very good Unless you end up going from London and we all go from London from the same airport, the same, it wouldn't be the same. We do want to go again, but it's going to take a few years. Alright, I'm going to go outside. How is Mexico? Are you going to make it? We're talking about a few years. morning guys so today is Wednesday 27th I think but um literally on the way start my um, videos like that but it's become a habit but um so i have checked in and i'm currently waiting it is 5 48 and my flight um starts boarding at 6 30 so i have a bit of time but um yeah so i went through check-in i only took a hand luggage um actually, so i only took that and then obviously this is my um my ring light um i wanted to take it with me and then it just has like all my charges um i have like my laptop my my mac my ipad and then my work laptop as well so all my charges are in there but um yeah so i just obviously got my boarding pass and then i went through security and all of that the good thing i like about traveling in america is unlike london when it comes to liquids um, London's a lot more strict with it so in London they give you a clear bag and you have to put all your liquids in your clear bag and the thing is that you're only limited to one but 
with um, here, it just has to be under 100, which is great. Um, and plus, I had a lot in my bags. They were like, take it out, but I just, I just didn't. They were like, I know like this lady was just making an announcement. It was like, take out all your liquids if you have any. But I didn't want to take them out because I just have a lot. Like I have my makeup with me, um, well, half of it. And then I also have like certain sprays. They've got to be, um, yeah, certain spray, hair glue, like shower gels, like a lot basically. But I didn't have to take them out because they were like all under 100 and they were just like scattered around, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably just gonna try and get something. I'm not hungry, but then like, I'm barely hungry anyways, but I'm probably gonna get like something to drink. Um, it's like a two hour flight plus. Um, I'll probably sleep, because we went to bed yesterday at like two or just before, and then I woke up four, so I slept for two hours basically. So I am tired, so I will most likely sleep. Um, and then yeah just wake up when we land kind of thing but um yeah so my sister's leaving i think around like nine and then she's gonna start her drive but um yeah i'll be in houston like around i think it's 8 30. but yeah i'll see you guys there this is how i always end it like i need to remix it but yeah bye guys hot chocolate can i get that I and mean, then can i get a blueberry muffin oh, what size hot chocolate Black Brit Brits. Yeah. Um, but they're mainly in Southwest Houston. Okay. Um, I would say because you don't know much about. Them. But yeah, there's a, a large uh, community. Um, but yeah, I can give you a heads up on a lot of that stuff. Please do. Absolutely. Yeah. And then so you. Yeah, I'm not Nigerian myself. Yeah, I so know. That would be, oh. <laughs> I know. I know. A girl. I already got the scoop on that. I've been to the motherland, and I have a lot of um, okay. grew up with friends that are. My mom had friends that were Nigerian, and I, I did too. I was introduced to the culture way before it became a trend. Like this. No, I no. don't think you're you. good. So that's for you. Okay, guys. So when you walk in, we have all of this here so basically we really tried to order as much as possible so that when we got here we had most of our things so like this is my desk rugs um beds um dresses all of that she got an air fryer but um yeah like this is this is lamp um i actually don't even remember what most of these are cause i don't even know what this is like the bin, yeah. Most of these I actually don't even remember what they are. I just know I ordered a bunch of stuff. Like this is the bed, um, mattress. This one's mattress as well. This one's yeah, the dresses. So that's what all of these are. So the kitchen's here on the right side. So we have the fridge, and it's clean, which is good. Um, up top as well. Oh, can you see that? And then all the space, which we definitely need for like glassware, plates. Me and my sister will have like a whole section with like seasoning spices. I feel like a whole one because we just have so many. Um, this, oh, what was that sound? With these. Um, on this side as well, all of this. Ooh, 
this I love I like I made sure because this is what I really wanted because I just love this countertop but um yeah and there's space here as well which is a lot of space which is good um I don't know what the light is for this one but um where is the light oh, there it is okay so yeah just the space as well um which is supposed to have the washing unit I need to go speak to them about that um but yeah so in there is another space obviously i can't get to it because of the door but um when i did the virtual tour um i could see that so we'll do room one first um good thing i took off my shoes already so the carpet and then okay that just automatically turns on the other carpet and then the of space it's pretty decent i have a lot of stuff like i have a lot of clothes and shoes but i'm gonna try and make it work honestly um because this seems small but i feel like with i got um with the dresses i got i got a mine was six it should fit i think if they can't fit honestly i'm just gonna find somewhere to stick, like put them all um maybe get a I don't know storage but storage is expensive because like how long will I keep leaving my stuff there but um I have to turn off the lights guys because I'm paying for stuff now I need to make sure so this one um so this is the bathroom that connects you guys it's me but yeah this is the bathroom that connects to that room um but um it has a lot of space which is good because they don't connect it does have a lot of space so i feel like um i will end up putting a lot of my stuff in here so i don't know i haven't thought back but yeah quite a few things in here because a lot of space um for storage and stuff and that's this one as well yeah and this massive when i tell you I will be here every day. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, I'll be here every day. I don't know what that was, but it was like a little welcome back or something. But once again, we turn off the lights because we're paying for it. Um, where's the light? Okay. Next room is this one. Um, space again, we come through the doors. But this one connects with the light. It doesn't have as much um, storage as the other one. Um, I keep saying storage, but you know what I mean. Covers as the other one. Da, da. Then this is the other space. It's bigger than the other one. Um, and this is Adobe's, Adobe's one. And I have more stuff than her. So if she doesn't need all this space, my clothes will end up here. Because I need as much space as possible. And then you have this as well. I think this is bigger. I don't remember. But, um, and then we have the balcony that's here. Wow, that was a struggle. But this space. I tried to open this door, but I can't figure it out, so I'm going to leave it alone. But, um, pretty much, we're probably going to get a chairs. We're going to get chairs, um, put them outside. Um, Maybe we'll sit there, maybe we won't. But um yeah. So my um my battery died, so I had to charge my camera. Um but yeah, so I actually like the kitchen. This was like definitely a must for me. I wanted the kitchen to look nice. Um so that's that. All of this will be sorted out at some point. Obviously I don't really has the um the screws, the screwdrivers, all of that, the equipment to actually build all of this. So, kind of have to wait until she gets here. But I'll start with like some things like maybe my phone. I don't know. I'll see like because with the beds, some beds like they have the equipment that you need to actually build it. Um, like we lived somewhere and like I bought um two beds for two of the rooms and I actually 
did it myself because they had like the stuff to screw the beds i didn't need too much so i'll see like what they're like um and i'll see if i can like at least make my bed so i can sleep in it tonight but um but yeah i don't know how to keep holding this but but um yeah i think for now i'm really just gonna chill i haven't eaten um i got like a muffin from the airport but i didn't eat it um i got hot chocolate as well that's the only thing i drank but i didn't actually eat the muffin um so maybe i'll go get something to eat maybe i don't know because i'm not really that hungry but um and then when i get back i'll probably just chill for a bit there's a couple of things i wanted to do on my laptop so i'll probably do that and then when i have the energy to be honest i'll try to sort out some stuff but the good thing with this um the place is the location there's a lot of like stores restaurants and stuff close by so i can just walk there basically um but like i said i don't know if i'm gonna actually leave anytime soon but yeah officially moved to texas um and yeah hopefully we don't have to move again because it's stress Thank you for watching my video guys, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.